the three parts we're going to model is the cup, that one, the base, and the spinner. So let's start with a sketch on the front plane, a circle with a diameter of 122. Let's draw a line here. Make that coincident with the origin and that's our first sketch. Now let's rotate that bottom part creating a new component with this axis. But let's um, make that symmetric <clears throat> and 90 degrees. Okay. Um, let's rename that cup. Then let's shell that here. Take that off. Give it a six millimeter thickness. Accept that. Let's find some appearance for that. Fusion's 360 appearances, and then maybe under plastic. Take this one, polyamide. All right. Apply that. All right. Let's uh, create a sketch on this face, a circle with uh, 26 millimeters. Finish that. Go into extrusion, take that down, cutting. Um, through wall. Okay. There we have our hole. Let's create our next sketch on the front plane. First we, with P, project that edge and that one. There we have those two lines. With L, I start a vertical line down here. Go over here. There. And connect that to that endpoint. Make that a vertical line. Now I wanted to connect that, those two points, and give the dimensions 24, 8 millimeters, 34. And we got a fully defined sketch and go into the revolve command here again a new component take those two regions around that axis this time a full circle accept that We can keep that appearance and rename that component base. Let's start our next sketch on the right plane. That'll be a slot, center to center slot. 
take that, go here. Give that a 44 millimeter length and an eight millimeter radius. Finish that sketch and extrude that region. Cutting one side through all, except that. Now let's um, construct a plane at an angle. Take that edge. 45 degrees, all right, and let's start a sketch on that one, project that edge, make a center point arc, that's our center, go over here, connect that, and give that 28 millimeters. Finish that sketch. Go into extrude. Cut through the wall, one side. Let's take this side here. Accept that. Let's make a circular pattern of features. That cut and that cut around that axis four times. There it is. Next, let's start a sketch here on that bottom face, make that uh, center, center to center slot, take that center, go over here like this, um, draw a line here, just a uh, construction line to dimension that angle here, 45 degrees. Give that a 16 millimeter radius and an 88 millimeter length. Finish that sketch. Ah, well, we can Draw one line in here, straight line, perpendicular, eight millimeter distance, finish that. Make an extrusion of our face here, distance to object, click on that top face here. Join, keep that sketch visible, extrude that face, go up, minus 122, accept that. All right, we can hide that sketch. Let's start a sketch on this face with a circle, give that a 12 millimeter um, diameter and finish that sketch, go into extrude, take that and pull it out 16 millimeters. All right, that's our base. Let's start a sketch on that face. Project that edge. 
draw a circle with that same origin. Or we can project that point, make that coincident, give it an offset, minus six, a line, vertical line here, finish that sketch, go into extrude, take all those regions here, create a new component, go back, minus six, all right, let's call this component spinner, give it an appearance, maybe opaque FR4, why not, take that, let's keep that sketch visible, make an extrusion of that region, going out this way, joining while joining our spinner, right? 22 millimeters, give it a taper, minus one, not a cut, a join, yeah, accept that. Now let's um, model that arm, create a sketch on this plane, and um, let's have a look what kind of sketches we got here to project from. Let's take sketch 7 and press P. Take that line, take that one, draw a two-point rectangle somewhere here. Take that um, three-point rectangle. Um, Something like that. Make those points coincident. Give that a, a midpoint relationship to that edge. Let's move in here. Make that coincident on that line over here as well. Here, here. Um, project. I go in here. Project that that edge here, that circle. Okay. And draw a line from here. Over there. Oh, that's a 3D sketch line. I'm going to get out of that option and go here, vertical line, okay, so I had just remembered that we hadn't dimensioned this line here, which is projected from that other sketch, so 
I, I drew a line with 84 millimeters, so that's fine for our for that sketch here. And now let's extrude that with a 10 millimeters half length extrusion. Let's apply a fillet to that here. Here and there. 10 millimeters. Okay. And then let's start a sketch on that face, a circle, and give that a diameter of 16 millimeters, the same as our slot here. Finish that. Let's extrude that region here. some 26 millimeters all right so let's see what we what we did so far we got the base so let's um ground that then let's Press J for joints, hover over that edge, then over that one, make that a revolute joint, okay, press J again, hover over that um, edge, over that one, still on the revolute. Good. Now let's go into assemble, enable all contact, go into Revolute 1, right click and animate joint relationship. And there it is, our spherical Geneva drive modeled and animated in Fusion 360. I hope you liked that and I see you in the next video.